Greetings and beyond the new, my fellow gamers! Okay, first off, I'd like to apologize for last week. No video, I'm sorry. I came down with a little bit of a sickness. I came down with a sickness. I got my hair in the back. Yeah, this, nobody can resist that joke, can they? Um, and it was a little bit of a bug. I had my system, so I did not have the energy, and I had the coughs and all that stuff, so I could not make a video. It was supposed to be a downloads video. Didn't happen. But that's gonna get pushed till next week. Knock it off, Mouse. Why are you messing with me right now? Um, because just a few days afterwards, they not stop it, mouse. So my mouse is getting all wiggly. I'm a very sensitive mouse because I'm a gamer, and gamers have sensitive mouse because we're, we're we're bad like that. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so Monster Hunter World released this whole thing where they talked about the 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 new Iceborne. Now you guys know I already talked about it before. I'm hyped for it, and the stuff that came out, the trailer came out, and then they did like a whole thing about it, that, which I which I have right here. You know the whole developer update. Um, so I thought instead of just trying to ramble off, which I always do, and I never do a good job when I ramble, we're going to go over the update all together and talk about all the different stuff that's going to be in the upcoming, in the upcoming game. Alright, so it's going to be you and me, we're going to talk about it real quick, but don't worry, it, this won't be, this won't be as long as you thought. Um, okay, so, you guys are ready, let's go ahead and let's get started. Ah, yeah, you thought we'd actually have to wait. No, don't worry, I'm going to fast forward. <laughs> All right, so let's, oh, excuse me. So let's go ahead and let's jump ahead. Let's get to the developers. The developers. That's, oh, okay, that just sounds weird. All right, so here we go. Iceborne is what they're calling in the expansion. And you already knew that because you've already been paying attention. Spring update. All right, let's get to it, guys. So first off, we're going to meet. So, okay, so the official date. Promo footage of the game. Yeah, we just kind of skipped over the trailer. That's okay, though. Um, so, yeah, the game is... One second, buddy. So, the game is coming out officially on 9-16-2019. Con that's the console release. Unfortunately, there's no date for the PC release, um, which I am okay with. Actually, let's go ahead and let this play out. I'll just talk over them. So, I'm okay with that. Uh, just like I was okay with the last one, I, I talked about it. Uh, if they Hello, want to take their time to bring to bring the game to PC, make sure it's a good launch, then I say let them take their time. I mean, the Monster Hunter World came to PC way sooner than they thought it would. Like they said it was going to be out in fall, they came out in summer. So, so what they, I say, take the time you guys need to make sure you get a good PC port because I know you guys, the Monster Hunter World team, the Monster Hunter team, they care about quality. So, I've got no problem with that. It, it sucks, but you know what? It's all right. So, I'm sorry I talked over you guys. You four guys are awesome. Uh, Daisuke Ichihara here talking about, uh, I think he was, yeah, he was in charge of the, so he's, this is, this guy right there is the Iceborne director. So, you can thank him for all this cool new stuff we're going to talk about. Um, and this guy right here, I forgot his name already, but, you know, he's the, he's the original, this guy right here is the original father of Monster Hunter. He's been working on it ever since it was first made. So, why can I not remember his name? It's, it's like, it's like... I was like, I gotta remind here because I feel like I feel like a jerk not knowing his name. So, and I have several oh, they don't even say his name. With me to provide more I feel like an absolute jerk. I don't remember his name. Let's do it's 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 an easy to remember name though, like because you hear it all the time, especially if you're a Monster Hunter fan. But anyway, so that's just all right. So, so here's the trailer. Actually, yeah, so let's actually, you know, what, let's talk about the trailer. You know, I'm gonna talk about this. Don't really need to go over the trailer. So those those are the I got the name on Popos. They were in. Some of the uh, the handheld releases. I think I remember it was Monster Hunter 4. I think they showed up in probably before that. I have really terrible memory. All right, so let's. So there's the handler, and of course that the, that character will be you. Um, and you discover this brand new area, which is snow, which is really important because we actually didn't have a snow area before, but now we do. And here comes one of the new monsters. Yeah, it's a big boy. Look at him. Oh, he's got like reindeer antlers. I love them. Oh, I love that. I love this. I love the designs. Like I already seen this. I'm just looking at it because I love the designs. Oh yeah, and he just rams into you. They're gonna talk about this a little bit too. So let's. Oh yeah, and then there's a new guy. We'll talk about him too. Um, let's get a good look at him. Where are you, you big? There you go. Are you big Paluka? Ooh, so nasty. So nasty. All right, can I just mess around here with my mouse? Ooh, oh, right there. That's actually one of the new abilities that I've added to the game. I don't know if you noticed that, but here, let me rewind it real quick. Look at me. I'm rewinding. I'm, I'm prof I am El Profesional. But one of the new abilities that you got, wait for it to pop up. And I'll talk about right there. 
uh, you're gonna you, they're actually you can actually use your grapple hook to grapple onto the monster right there and swing in and start doing that which is one of the brand new abilities they're gonna talk about that in a minute and I wonder if you're gonna see yeah right there did you see that right there too I didn't notice this the first time but not on wow I didn't want too far I should probably just wait until we actually talk about it, shouldn't I? But it's kind of cool because I, I didn't notice it in the trailer until I saw this development. So I just, I have to, right there, he, you, so if you're a greatsword user, you can have your weapon out and use your, your, um, your, uh, wow, my brain. You know, your grapple, not your grapple, but you know, your, your sling, your slinger. That's it, your slinger. So that's kind of amazing. So let's go ahead, let's fast, let's go ahead and fast forward a bit. Uh, all right, did I skip anything? Oh yeah, oh yeah, there's gonna be new Palico ability. Look at that. Yeah! So Palicos are gonna get some new stuff too. Um, Alright, and so let's see here. Let's go ahead and skip ahead a little bit. Alright, so here they talk about like how you can... Yeah, you're gonna get a new story. We're gonna, so basic info, we're gonna get a new story. After the ending of the main game of Monster Hunter World. Yeah. You'll have to see for yourself what it's all about. Can't wait. And then, We've also got a new rank. yeah, this, okay, so that's the first thing we're going to talk about right there is the Master Rank. So, um, so they, so all the games have always had, uh, have, have always had G Rank whenever they released a, a new version of the game. So, before it was never an expansion, uh, before, because they, they, they were, weren't like this, at least not for a long time, uh, you would get the main game, at least in Japan anyway, and then they would they would release what they call the G version, and that would have the G rank. Uh, usually in the U.S., you'd only get the G the G versions. So you'd already have like the full version because that was always the full version. Um, I think the first time America's ever gotten both versions of the game, where it's a regular and the G rank, was uh, what we call Generations, because we got Generations and we got Generations Ultimate, which was like the same game but with more stuff. Um, but instead of releasing a separate game, they're doing an expansion onto the game. And instead of G rank, they're calling it Master Rank, which is like the only real difference. But it is l pretty much going to be the same thing. We're pretty much most uh, most gamer veterans, most hunting veterans are pretty much assuming that. So you can pretty much just go off of that. Is one step above high rank. Yeah, you know, one step above high rank. It's like the G rank from previous games. Like I just said. All right, so let's go ahead a little bit. So let's. All right, so new locale. Let's talk about that a little bit. So if you like snowy locations, or if you miss snowy locations. This the is reach. the Horfrost Reach We've is basically so you can see what it is basically like what you've been waiting for. Time. Ryozo, that's his name. His is Ryozo. Dude's name is Ryozo or the something. Characteristics of this All right, now if you hate snow areas like my wife, then this is probably the worst well thing about this expansion. Me, I'm looking forward to it. I'm totally fine with snow areas. I love the kind of diversity, and especially if they're gonna add like the same amount of details that they did in, in the current game, which absolutely beautiful environments that, that aren't just they aren't instead of just making they're not just like big areas they're sprawling so in a three-dimensional so you can climb all sorts of areas so I'm really looking forward to exploring this and seeing all the different levels like how and how they have it developed and, trail behind them. and oh tomorrow exactly. they leave a trail that which is actually really That's cool yeah that is never really been able to do before so, so yeah but now they can making it look as good as we can it looks great familiar with monster hunter and just a second here they're gonna talk about how to make your hot drinks quicker which is obviously not ideal and one of the cool things about Monster in the World is how easy it is to just craft items on the fly. So, there you go. As soon as you pick those, you got your hot drinks. Which you can use um, to create hot drinks. Which is super useful. Kind of like how like the ice mushrooms or frost mushrooms, whatever they're called in um, Elders. Cro what was it called? Elders Keep, Elders Crossing, Elders Reach. Anyway, you can just pick up. If you forgot your your cool drinks, you can just pick those up and you have cool drinks. So it's a really cool. All right, let's get ahead here. All right, so I think are we going to tomorrow first creature? All right, so there's the popos. So poo poo popos. Oh, look at those birds. They look cool. Right, let's get to. these rolled up snowballs contain crystal. Apparently, we got dung beetles now. So dung beetles. If you're familiar with Monster Hunter World. Oh yeah, and they talk about the new type of. Uh, I forgot what those birds are called. So those little pterodactyl butts. Continue to use them to make it easier to get around. So they have those too. So eh, that's that's nothing new. Well, let's talk about those dung beetles. Oh, oh those dung beetles. Nice and warm. Oh, did I skip it? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I think I did. There's, so there's these... Let's go back a little bit. And you can use this crystal... 
Yeah, okay, right and here, I think. Yeah, so these dung beetles, they roll up these... Look at that. Kicking it here. Look at that. Apparently, you can get stuff out of that. And these rolled up snowballs yeah. contain crystal burst. And you can use this crystal burst as slinger ammo. Yeah, there you go. So, I I, I guess that really is not... So, let's go. Let's talk about the, the hot springs here. This is one of the things they're adding in. So, not, not every area is going to be snow. There's actually going to be hot springs you can chill out in. More. Which is yeah. pretty cool. It makes that sense. That's not, that's not like something this. extreme. You can have, um, uh, my brain. You can have hot so, springs in, uh, in, uh, snow areas. Springs. I've never been, because I'm, I'm an introvert, yeah. <laughs> but, that they contain components that fight off the cold, so yeah, so if I'm understanding them correctly, if you, if you lay down in these hot springs, it'll give you the same of, a, a buff, like a hot drink. Find monkeys. I think they'll be popular. Look at those cute little things. They look, they look more like squirrels so than monkeys, but they are adorable. Can you capture them? Life. Which is something in so, especially in Japan, there are monkeys that hang out in hot springs. I forget what their their particular species is called. Region. They are, so, but I'm pretty sure it was just based off of that. To explore it. I'm gonna explore and this area. So let's get let's all right. So let's get to. All right, I think this is their first. But once you get Here to we go. Point of the story, it'll open up. And in the end, there he is. Are we gonna talk about him? The largest region in Monster Hunter World so far. Oh, there seems to be the largest. That's saying something. So, there'll be plenty to explore. All right. So let's talk about that guy who basically looks like uh, he looks like Boreas from Dauntless. <laughs> oh my gosh. Although I, I imagine they, I, I wouldn't accuse him of ripping off. I mean, as much as I love Dauntless, I imagine it doesn't even register on Capcom's red let's radar, which I know is a mean thing to say, but it's. This pudge, that's just the way it is. Oh, so we got Bambaro, that's his name, who looks like Boreas. I'm totally okay with that, though. Parts of the game, and is a new brute wyvern. That's right. He's an early yeah. game monster, so his attacks are fairly straightforward. All right, let's but get to him. He likes to pick fights with other monsters. All right, so he's... All right, let's get to him here. There he is. Characteristics are the huge look at that. Yeah, so I think he's supposed to look like he's like a reindeer mixed with a brute. Well, I mean, he's a brute wyvern, but basically he's like he's like a reindeer mixed with a dinosaur and brute wyvern. So basically, like you know, like Brachydios or something like that. But look at that! How he picks up rocks and stuff and just everything. He just tries to destroy you with it. Ooh. I see. So if he picks up a tree, that will increase the width of his attacks. So he's going to be harder to dodge and pose more of a threat. Yeah. So definitely like. I know, I know, I, I can read the word Brachydeos, not Brachydeos, well, yeah, no, Brachydeos, I meant to say, um, that other guy, I'm gonna shut up, because I'm making myself look like an idiot, um, you guys probably know who I'm talking about, you probably don't, I don't know, alright, so I think we're gonna talk about the other new guy, oh, no, uh, yeah, so, they talk a little bit about how, it's the ecology, and here we go, Beotedos! Beotodus is Beotodus? Is he like a Piscean Wyvern? Because he kind of looks like a Piscean Wyvern. Now, here's the thing I have like about this. Like, I feel like since we have this guy who acts like a shark, I wonder if that means we're not going to have Zamchios. I know uh, a lot of people have been asking for Zamchios to be added to this game, but Zamchios does like shark stuff, and this guy does shark stuff. I'm not saying we can't have both. But I just wonder if this means this that we're not going to just straight up not. Um, like the players but he looks pretty cool. I'll give you that. You while I mean, I, I usually snow. don't like Pisces because that's what he looks like. He looks like a Pisces. Whatever, but the colors and you know the the the, the 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 horn that's like a shark fin design is pretty cool. As we explained just a bit ago, right, so also appears. Oh yeah, and they get into territory fights. Or not, what do they call it? Turf wars. Territories are very similar, so their turf so they're going to get angry. Quite a bit. They're going to get mad at each Which other. Means you'll be seeing them fight. Right, let's see what else we got. Um, I think, is that it? Some fan favorites, including one that made its first appearance in Freedom. Right, here we're going to talk about the return of the turning monsters so, that everyone like already guessed that really monster, easily. Narga Kuga. Yep, that's it. The panther bird looking thing. A classic fan favorite. Will appear oh, excuse me. Point of the story. And it's got its own All right, let's get let's get to the let's get to the footage. That's what you guys are here for. Oops. Involved in turf wars as well. Exactly. 
That's the, there we go. Alright, now, here's the thing. This is not, um, Horfrost anymore, or, or whatever it's called. I can't, I obviously I forgot what it was. So, obviously he's going to be in the, the, the forest, in, like, the ancient forest area. So, so you don't have to just, obviously they're going to add more monsters to the game. They're only giving you a sneak preview, and you're going to be able to play, fight even more monsters than others. So I imagine we're going to probably see some coral, reef monsters, uh, elders, whatever. I can't remember what it's called. All right, so now we're going to talk about the newest. This is a cool monster. This new elder dragon. All right. Just for that title. And since this is an expansion for Monster Hunter World, and Monster Hunter World is all about investigating and searching out Elder Dragons, the main monster in Iceborne is a new type of Elder Dragon. This new monster is defined by its use of ice attacks, and is named Velcana. Yeah! Look at that thing! That's armor is going to be so cool. It's an elder dragon, I can't wait to kill it and strip it of its skin and put it on my head. But there's a bit of a I just realized how horrifying I sound. To show that you're it makes you wonder which one is the real monster. Ancient creature. So we're sure players will find it interesting. I will. It's probably going to kick our butts, too. Keeping this to a very basic introduction today, <clears throat> I can see that. telling you more about this monster in the future, so please yeah. stay tuned. You guys saw the three-man trailer, then you did see it, get to see more of that. So I think that is... Oh, right, let's go over the actions. Next this is what I was talking about earlier from before. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Alright, so let's get to the footage here. Alright, so... First slinger off, improvements. Monster Hunter World introduced the Slinger. Which, for most weapons, could only be used while your weapon is sheathed. He's using a sword and shield. Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Yeah. You'll be able to use your slinger with your weapon drawn. That's interesting. Types. So yeah, that's so it won't be exclusive to sword and shield. At least that one. I mean, obviously, sword and shield, you can still use your items, but. You'll be able to ready your slinger, and use a variety of items with your weapon drawn. So, this will significantly increase the strategies available to you. You can now fire flash pods with your weapon drawn, for instance. We've also added a new feature to the That's slinger, a cool thing. Called the clutch claw. That's what I was trying to remember. This allows you to fire a claw while readying the slinger, which lets you grapple onto monsters. Yeah, although I think... I'm not sure if your weapon needs to be sheathed for that. I'd have to check that. I, I, I couldn't tell. Controlling monsters in a variety of ways... Uh, poor Jagras. <laughs> it's his destiny just to get the crap kicked out of him. Uh, oh, look at that. Did you see that stab? It was like stabby stabby. Is basically an extension of that, in that it allows you to control... That's cool. I love how they just want to add in new ideas. They would just want to put in more stuff and make it more and more fun. Look at that. There are several actions available to you. What we're showing here now is called a flinch shot which lets you unload all of your slinger ammo at once while clinging onto the monster's head. That's an interesting idea, especially if you got some, like, really good slinger ammo. Yeah. Like, some of that. What are the ones that you call the explode? There's also the dragon ones. Are the dragons explode? Yeah, check that out. So they, they really want you to get creative with these things and really test the limitations. It's freaking awesome. all weapon types. All right, yeah, they do talk about combos. They're not going to talk all of them, though. They only talk about... Let's... You can now fire more powerful <coughs> oh, excuse me again. Combos. I guess I'm still recovering a little bit. This is called a power shot. And though it has shorter range, it's also much more powerful. Oh, yeah, see, that's from the earlier trailer, so... Get him with a screamer. Easily. So in the case of the great sword... Check out. You can mix this into your combo. Right. Making it easier to land... And I just, like, a flash attack. bomb at some point. Or a flash pod. It's, like, right... Here By making the monster and then flash pod, and then I think it's a and then like I think you can even do it like setting up your level three charge, you can do that and then which is pretty pretty crazy. You can fire more powerful shots while evading, and the dual blades even allow you to do other. Look at how you can like you can juke. Look at those jukes. You can dodge. You can if you can dodge an engine, I think you can dodge a ball. To cling onto the monster's body within the same combo. Look at that. Some amazing stuff. We've added new features to the light bow gun as well. Oh, yeah, the light bow gun. 
the mod we're showing this one isn't as impressive. Basically, it's just a reload. This custom mod which is pretty cool. Reloading. But it that's literally all it does. <laughs> right, so that's... While doing this sliding evade. And I think that... Yeah, so slide evade, you get the reload. I think that's pretty much it. Let's see... Yeah, because then, alright, then they talk about, like, how you can buy it, you can get the digital deluxe, or physical deluxe, if you want. Um, yeah, so you can, you can either buy the ice, you can, you can either buy the iceborne, the whole thing. Uh, if you've never bought Monster Hunter World, you can buy Monster Hunter World Iceborne. I think it's like the whole thing. Um, and of course, here's some stuff. If you buy, the, if you put some extra money on it, you'll get some extra stuff. And so this is the layered armor, yeah. So you can, this is just just for aesthetics. So if you like that kind of thing. And I think that's it. Yeah, so this edition will Master Edition will have as a physical version. both. As a pre-order bonus, and if you care about pre-orders, usually I do not like pre-orders. You know, I I I I, I scoff at such things, but Monster Hunter is that is that exception to that rule, at least for me anyway. The version of Monster Hunter World was released half a year after the console version, but for the Steam version of Iceborne, we're planning a winter release. All right. Working hard on it, so stay tuned. Okay, so that's not bad because it's coming out for fall. Winter is only a few months later, which means we might actually even get it quicker than what we got. Um, anyway, so that's it. So wait, let me just double check. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, excuse me, guys. My throat is dry. I need to get something to drink. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, they're just going to talk about the Spring Festival and the Nergigante, Arc Tempered Nergigante. That's pretty much it. That's all the stuff. It's super impressive. Um, love it all. Tell me what you guys think down below. Do you think? Are you looking forward? Are you hoping to test out your your personal weapons? I know they only showed a couple of weapons, unfortunately. Uh, are you looking forward to it? Do you like the new monsters? Uh, are there any particular returning monsters that you want to see besides Nargakuna and Tigrex? Pretty much everyone's been confirming Tigrex. It was that secret roar. Um, you know, you're looking forward to new armor. You're looking forward to new challenges. Uh, to what you guys think down below, and I will see you guys next time. Just remember to love, laugh, and to play video games. Goodbye.